NASA International Space Apps Challenge, actually the largest hackathon in the world with 8,000 people participating this weekend. It's happening in 83 cities around the world and it's all about making data accessible to people. The data that's produced by NASA every minute of every day, accessible and visual and fun to explore. Bean Oceans is an innovation company. We work with a lot of brands and a lot of organizations to help them put together web, mobile and social applications. We have this aspiration to go to space. We know that the technologies of today are not going to be the same technologies as tomorrow. And to keep us curious and to keep us aspirational, we decided to have this lofty goal of going to space. The Bean Ocean team is working on a couple challenges. One is syncing all of NASA's open source projects into one central place on GitHub. So there's another team working on an air traffic control application. It's really a game for Android devices. Another one is socializing the observing of near-Earth objects and putting that on Facebook. It's, it's awesome to sort of walk around and see what people are actually working on. It's just an amazing feeling to be around so many talented individuals. I'm working on the near-Earth object database. It's a way of reporting near-Earth objects, but connected to Facebook. We're trying to make space discovery more social. I'm Greg Karen, and this is my partner, Matthew Patience. We're working on the No Delays Air Traffic Management Challenge. So we're actually going to put the user in the role of an air traffic controller. It's all about creating public awareness about uh, the delays in the airspace industry currently. I'm Naheem, this is Logan, and our designer in the back is Nora. I'm helping with the, uh, the source code mirroring. NASA loves open source. They have over 25 active open source projects. What we're doing is trying to mirror all the projects that are dispersed throughout the web to a single GitHub organization, just to make it a lot easier for people to, to both find them and to contribute. One, we see going to space as innovative as technology can be today. So we're more than happy to partner with someone like NASA to think about space for an entire weekend. Of course I go to space, but uh, I think I might want to have the option to come back. <laughs> I would definitely go to space. I want to go to space so badly. Maybe. <laughs> Not on a long-term thing. I would absolutely go to space if I had the chance. Thanks for joining Toronto's first Space Apps Challenge.